the easiest way to install Android Q Beta 5 on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to install Android Q Beta 5 on your Poco F1. As you can see, right now I'm running MIUI 10 Global Stable 10.3.5.0 based on Android 9.0 Pi. What are the things which we need? You need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Tuop Recovery installed. I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of this video. Next, make sure that your battery is charged at least 60 to 70%. Do not do this process if your battery is around 10 or 20%. Next up, make sure you have backed up your data. We will do a factory reset of the device. And if we run into any encryption issues, we will have to do a format data which will result in all your pictures, videos being lost. So let me repeat myself again. Make sure you have backed up all your data. What is working and what is not working on this Android Q Beta 5 build will be mentioned in the pinned comment along with the Telegram group wherein you can join that group and get the latest updates on Android Q ports for the Xiaomi Poco F1. The files which we need will be linked in the description of this video. Let us first go into settings and then you need to go into lock screen and password and remove your fingerprint, face data and screen lock. Once that is done, go back, scroll down, go into me account and remove your me account. Once you have removed your me account, go back, go into sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all your accounts and security measures from the POCO F1, you need to reboot your device once just to make sure that all the security measures and accounts have been removed what are the files which we need well this is the easiest method to install android q beta 5 on your poco f1 so you need just one zip file which is again linked in the description of this video and this zip file contains the vendor based on latest beta 9.6.27 your android q beta 5 disable force encryption and permissiver, fixed zygote. So all of those have been bundled into this one zip file. Next thing we need to do is we need to boot into Tuop Recovery. For that, the first thing we need to do is power off our device. And once the device has turned off, we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the Tuop Recovery boot logo. Once we are in Tuop Recovery, we will click on wipe, click on advanced wipe and select Dalvik Cache System and Data then swipe to wipe. Once this is done we will click on the home button, click on wipe one more time and swipe to factory reset just being safe. Next click on the home button, click on install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the zip file. In my case it is in the root directory or the internal storage. If you downloaded the file directly on your phone it will be in the download folder. All you need to do now is select this zip file and then swipe to confirm flash and wait for the zip file to be flashed successfully. Once the zip file has flashed successfully, we will click on the home button and all we need to do now is just reboot up OCO F1. However, if you run into any encryption issues, then you will have to boot back into Tuop Recovery, go into wipe, click on format data and then you will type in yes and then click on the check mark button. This is where you will lose all your pictures, videos, data, anything important which you have on your phone. So make sure you have backed up your data before you do a format data in to up recovery. We will now click on reboot and then click on system. And bam, there we have it. Google boot animation in the building, which means our device is booting into Android Q beta 5. The first boot up will take some time. So you have to be patient. And there it is, we have the setup screen on our POCO F1. Let me skip this setup real fast. And we are on the home screen of Android. Let us go into settings and then we need to go into about phone. And now if we click on the Android version, there you have it, Android version 10, security patch of July 5th, 2019. 
which means we are running Android Q Beta 5 on a POCO F1. As I mentioned before, what is working and what is not working will be mentioned as a pinned comment on this video. And you can always join the Telegram group to get the latest updates about Android Q Beta 5 on the Xiaomi POCO F1. That will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.